Hello, my friends. Hey, thank you for joining me today. Some of you, in fact, I think a lot of you were very much looking forward to today because today is the day that we launch our first design style video, okay? Modern, contemporary. Unfortunately, I decided I would jump on here right now and say thank you for anticipating it, being excited about it, because I want you to see these videos. But I'll tell you what, oh my gosh, the last two weeks, I have filmed 13 videos in 12 days. And it has been like, we start at, you know, we, we've had like 12 hour days filming, 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 not only here in my house where I tell you about the styles and I'm changing my clothes, but also going to local stores and finding items that fit in each category. So, you know, you have 18 styles, right? So you've got, um, you see something over here that looks like mid-century modern. And so you take a photo or a, a clip of that. And then you see something that looks um, maximalist and you take a clip of that and then Japandi. And so we've got like terabytes and terabytes of footage with every style you can think of on each one of these things. And the sorting process has been extreme. Um, two nights ago, do, you know, Dorian's my editor. He, um, he sent me the first draft to look at and he needed all these assets and he sent it to me at 6 30 in the morning. He had worked all night and he worked all night last night to get me the, the video and I watched it and it was good, but it's not good enough. It's not what I want to present to you. And I just feel like we just need an extra week. So I came on here because I wanted to say, I love you guys, and I really, really hoped to be able to have this up to you today, but it just isn't, it's just not humanly possible. So if you give us an extra week, Dorian will continue to work long, long, long hours to get these done. And, you know, we don't just put anything out there. It's got to be well filmed, well edited. And in this case, it was just such a, an avalanche of content that, you know, it'd be one thing if we had 18 different video cards and you stick a card in for this style and a card in for this style, but we don't. It all went on one card and it's overwhelming. I mean, I've been like having panic attacks. So all that to say, it's tough. So we did the stores, we did the interview, and then we also toured homes. So my realtor, Mike Keys, he took me to six different homes. Some of these homes are like phenomenal so incredible not just the i mean the furniture the art the accessories and all the style stuff was incredible but the homes themselves good lord one home was 16,000 square feet that's like my house times 16 3 6 9 12 that's like five of my houses made up one mansion so it's really going to be fun for you guys to see but i want it to be perfect so I thank you for your patience in um, waiting for me. But I do have some very good news. The design style quiz is now live on my website. And it's RebeccaRobeson.com. But to make it easy, in the description box below this video is a uh, link you can click on. It'll take you straight there. Honestly, I think it'll take less than five minutes for you to discover what is your style, or at least how can you um, identify your style a little bit better than maybe you have in the past. So that's really all I had to say, but I, I do know that you guys are here and many of you are watching live. So I'm going to take a look at some of the comments. Let's see here. Hello from uh, Georgia, La Quinta, California. Portugal is Moriarla. Belgium, Alabama, Lithuania. I'm sorry, I'm not saying your names. I can't read them fast enough. Um, Mahalo, must be uh, Hawaii. Um, uh, Coneyville, Texas. Colleyville? Colleyville, okay. And um, uh, Charlotte, North Carolina. Um, Roma from, from Poland says hi. Um, Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, Mississippi, Belgium. That's amazing. And uh, Texas and oh, it's okay. We, we trust you. So relax. Stop stressing about it. Oh my God, you guys. I think I'm getting too old for this. <laughs> I, I think I, I had mentioned maybe in my last live that, you know, we do 52 videos a year. I mean, full on production television shows don't do anything near that. 
And we have a very small team of people, so it's been a lot. Plus, while all that's happening, I've got two trips coming up. I leave on Monday for one, and then I get back for a week, and I leave again. Um, and um, at the same time, my bathroom is uh, outside. My pool house bathroom is going to enter a 100% total makeover because it was pretty much totaled from that water leak that we had. Oh, it looks like one side of my lip is higher than the other. Is this one higher? No? Okay. <laughs> Okay, Wyoming, uh, Simi Valley, Washington, D.C. Um, hey, girl, no worries. You've earned creative grace. Thank you. We appreciate the commitment to excellence. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. And I that is my problem, excellence. And it takes time. And, you know, we... We kill ourselves trying to do it, but sometimes it's just, I had to, I, I finally called Dorian. I said, Dorian, the video's good, but it's not great. And I don't want to put it up unless it's great. There are so many moving parts on this thing, so many people involved and so many aspects. It just takes, that's a lot of editing. All right. Toronto, uh, Ontario. Hey, Canada. And uh, Port Dollhouse. Good Lord, you guys. Canada is in the house. That's awesome. Pennsylvania, um, you guys are so busy, but love your content. Thank you. Um, hello from Croatia. Goodness. Um, take your time on the video. Surely it would be worth the wait. Um, uh, Guido says, Yvonne in Toronto, lip color is rocking. <laughs> you must be talking about my lip color because I don't think you could see that anybody else. Um, Let's see. Uh, hi from Iowa. We love your content and certainly can be patient. Thank you. Uh, I-N-D-R-A. Indra? Indra. Okay. And from, uh-oh, you gave me a flag. That's Canada. Okay. I got that. You know, I'm I'm geographically challenged, right? You know what else I can't do very well? I, I did um, just a few minutes ago. I was filming for the, um, we have this thing called, it's called the, hold on. Oh. Um, member design challenge. So on the design sessions, if you're a member for a, a couple of years now, oh, I think I'm going to sneeze. Nothing like live television, huh? Hey, someone from the UK. Thank you. Fine wine, darling. Woo okay. So, oh God. Um, yeah. So we've had this, this perk. If you're a member of the design sessions, you can send photos in and I'll draw on top of them. How many of you have been with me long enough to know that back in 2015, I did a series called What Would Rebecca Do? WWRD, nine years ago. And I hear that that concept of WW something, something, not me, um, is making a resurgence. So people loved it nine years ago. And apparently, I think you guys will love it now, too. So it was kind of cute to see that something I had made up, you know. All that long time ago is is kind of making a comeback. Uh, Diana from Massachusetts. Hey there. You remember you do, Julie. Thank you. Uh, Inizable. Inizable. Uh, me. Good. Susie, me. Hello. I remember that series. Oh, my gosh. I remember, says Nancy. Rebecca says, I remember um, your hair and makeup are amazing. Thank you. you know, it takes me two hours. Mm -hmm. So anyway. We have this thing, and it's it's similar to that, and it's available to design sessions members because they're learning all the principles of design that I use. So they, they know the answers to a lot of these things, but some people have like a specific challenge. They don't, they just don't know what to do. So they send those in, and every, the first Friday of every month, um, we do a, a video where I sit down and I do those things. We've changed the name of it because it used to be called the live Q&As for the design sessions. And I got to thinking, I don't like it to be called that because it's, although I'm filming it live, it's, they can't, they send in a question and I answer it, but it's not like this where I can actually talk to you. That's a live Q&A to me. So we changed it to member design challenges, monthly member design challenges. And today I was filming one of those and um, <clears throat> before I, I got on here and I realized I'm not a good reader. I'm a very good reader. Like, you know, I can read. Hello. I can read and write. So I'm not only uh, graphically challenged. I'm also challenged reading publicly, like on camera. I can talk on camera. I, if, I, if I'm not looking at something, I'm just literally talking to you. That comes to me so naturally. And if it's something that I, I feel like I'm an expert in, like interior design, I can just talk to you. 
But when I'm just trying to read something, anyway, I'm having that same thing happen now. Okay, you inspired my entire kitchen renovation from 1974, horrible, to my dream kitchen that I designed. Oh, honey, Shauna, that's awesome. Um, would love to send you pictures uh, before and after just so you can see how you inspire others also. Shauna, please, please, please do that. Um, send it to hello at, oh gosh, I get this wrong. Hello at Rebecca Robeson.com. I think that's it. Now, remember you guys, that new design quiz is up. We worked really hard on it to, to update it and to make it um, easy to understand. So I really hope you take us up. And even though the first video did not come out today, when it does come out, having your design uh, quiz answers to know what your top three design things that you're mostly fall into will be really helpful as you watch. Um, hello from London. Oh, hello. I want to go to London. I, oh, you know what? You know how, okay, speaking of London, in my guest bathroom, if you watch my videos, you know, I, I've done some things about that out there. I have this, this shower that I call my London telephone booth. Now, do I really know what a London tele booth, telephone booth really is? Probably not, but it's what I think it would be. <laughs> it is the smallest shower, but it has all these jets that come out at all these different, you know, intensities and all that. It's amazing. Well, they just ripped that out today. So my London telephone booth shower is gone. Do you guys have telephone booth showers in London? I may have just made that up. I probably did. Stockholm, Sweden. Hello, Vaughn. Aw, that's awesome. Stevie says she remembers. You remember the uh, what would Rebecca do? WWRD? Hashtag WWRD. So literally, if you want to watch those, there, there are some really, really good things in that series. I think we did 11 or 12 episodes and it was back in 2015. So you can look those up. Watching from Toronto, Canada. Thank you, Yvonne. Any plans to visit here? Oh, pff, Yvonne, I got plans to visit everywhere. I just, I have to, I have to pump out a video a week. <laughs> so I'm a little busy. I, I don't vacation much. I should. Um, wait, now I'm here, Kuwait. Wow, but I'm from the Philippines. I love your designs. You can watch our videos in Kuwait. Is that right? I didn't know that. Amazing. Watching from Arizona. I remember when I was six years old, I watch your videos uh, while putting up my tree in the room. <laughs> Thanks so much. You inspire me. Oh, that's sweet. Six years old. Good Lord. I know. I've been on here for 15 years now. So that means... It takes 12 years in, in the U.S. It takes 12 years to get through high school. That means people who were in preschool, whose mothers were watching my videos, are graduating from high school now. I feel old. Um, but, oh, I just took the quiz and it was pretty accurate. Good, 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 good. That's awesome. Can you come over to, uh, I think that's, is that Canada? It's a, write the name in. I, I don't know my flags. Uh, and sort out my place, please. Of course, I'll, I'll pencil you in. I'm sure I've got, I'll, I'll do that. Um, hello from South Africa. Wow. I am pursuing, uh, says Katha, I am pursuing a degree in interior design. Does age matter? Not, no. It gets a little overwhelming. How do you, how do I get motivated in between a three-year long degree course? Apologies for being off topic from India. Okay, as far as age, I didn't start my interior design career or my business until I was 32 years old. So I don't know how old you are. I mean, if you're 60, it's probably a little, probably too late. I mean, I'm in, I'm in my 60s and a lot of things are too late. Hello from Russia. What? From Russia Federation? Is that actually Russia? Or is that like Paris somewhere in the US, but it's not really France? I don't know. But if it's Russia, I didn't think you, you guys, can you watch YouTube? If you can, that's so exciting. Oh, and here's someone from Ecuador, Farrell. Wow. We can film from my house. Okay, Vaughn. <laughs> Let's do that. Um, <clears throat> I'm 15 now. You are, Hunter. That's so exciting. I'm glad I was able to encourage you with your Christmas decorations. Oh, my gosh. I wish I had that thing here right now. It would be rude if I just ran off camera, wouldn't it? I got the nicest, nicest note, and I, I can't remember the young man's name, but he's, I want to say, 
12, something like that. I get, I could be wrong, but he hand wrote and, and, you know, decorated the front of a card and you know what it said? Oh dear, Christmas is here. And it was the sweetest thing. And it was a, it was a thank you note from him because um, he watches my videos and loves them. And I just thought that was really sweet. Someone from Cyprus. Oh, Cyprus, California. Yay. Okay. That's awesome. Lubbock, Lubbock Texas. I, I have actually watched you from the beginning. Really? Maxine, girl, we have gotten old together, right? <laughs> that is, I don't know how many people can say that, <clears throat> that they actually started watching me in 2009. I mean, that, that's pretty incredible. Yay, finally made it. Hi, Rebecca Hugs from Ensenada. All right, Salvador. Any thoughts on Spanish revival? No, you're from, uh, yeah, no, I don't, that wasn't. So here's one of the things. Hello from the something islands, from uh, the flag islands, green flag islands. You guys, you know, I am challenged geographically. Um, okay. Oh, good. Tracy says, just took the quiz, nailed it. Rustic modern farmhouse. Good. We actually live on a farm. Perfect. That's awesome. Uh, yay. Finally made it here. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see. What is that one? Let's see if she tells me. Susan Baker says, hello from Livermore, California. Hello, Susan. Uh, hello, Rebecca. I love seeing you at Amber Marie & Co. Oh, that's awesome. Seth, are you, let's see, are you, yeah, I think you're the guy who came into town with your mom, right? And you had to get back to go to school. You drove from like Arkansas or no, was something, I'm not going to say it again. It's embarrassing about my, you know, the Fiji Islands. Okay. You really thought I would know the Fiji flag? <laughs> you give me a lot more credit than I deserve. Okay, so um, I would love to be to, you know, I, I feel like I'm just here because I am so sorry that we were not able to post our video today. And I'm grateful that you are here and that you want to see. And next week, I hope you'll be just as eager and come right away as soon as that video goes up because it's going to be really good. But as a a consolation prize. Would you like to see a couple of my outfits? Let's see. Let's get some thumbs up. Let's get the thumbs up to 250. We get that up to 250 and I'll show you a couple of things. Okay. Long black hair. What? No, that wasn't me. I was, I was with my grandmother from OKC. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Long black hair. Oh, yeah. I remember you. Yes. I do remember you. Good to see you. Okay. Damn, yes, Yvonne says. Yes, yes. Oh, you want to see my fashion. Okay. It's at 156. You got a long ways to go. Hi from the UK. Rebecca, need help from your channel. I realized I loved asymmetry. I have an old home with radiator radiators, and they are often get in the way. I need help. Yeah, that's a tough one. You know, I did a home, I did a, an apartment for my son, Scott, with radiators. And um, he, you know, it, it turned out great, but it was challenging. I get that. It was an old apartment building in Chicago. Um, greetings from the Netherlands, Jolanda DeWolf. All right. I am, we're, we're not even close to 250. So I guess you don't want to see my clothes. I'm so sorry for those of you the 169 of you who did hit the like button because you can't hit the like button here. You have to do it on the video. You can't do it there. Or maybe you're trying to tell people to do it. You got to do it at the top. I think, I don't even know what you guys see. I only see my screen and my screen is probably way different than what you guys see. Um, but hello, Nancy from Canada. Wow. Oh, and Greece. Hey, Helen Bow. I mean, people from Greece? That is like a long ways away. I'd like to go to Greece too. I hear it's absolutely beautiful. Water and islands everywhere, right? Doing the quiz as you speak. Oh, good, Salvador. Yay. What do you mean doing the quiz as I speak? How can you do the quiz and watch this video at the same time? Priorities, Salvador. Okay. Come on, people. Hit the thumbs up. You have to do it from the video. You have to do it. Yep. Close the live chat and hit the thumb button. I have to do that? If I close the live chat, we'll all be gone. Um, 
I am a big fan. Hello from Toronto. Hello. S Y E D A. Sida? Sida? Please share your fitness secret. Oh, well, <laughs> I walk from my bed downstairs. <laughs> I start working and then I walk to the refrigerator. <laughs> Sometimes I go to the grocery store. I definitely go to the hairdresser. Now, I don't really have a fitness routine. I need one. In fact, I, this year I really wanted to make my arms, you know, stronger and fill in all that because I lost a bunch of weight. So fill in all that extra skin. I don't know how, you, how I'm going to do that without just getting fat again. And I don't want to do that. Multi uh, multi Oh, tasker. Multitasker. Oh, I see. Okay, Salvador. I get it. That's how you're doing it. You're multitasking. Okay, Salvador. Two hundred fifty, make it happen. We're at two twenty-five. We're getting close. For those of you who don't know what we're talking about, at the top of your screen or somewhere on your screen, maybe at the bottom, you know, there's always a thumbs up, thumbs down, leave a comment, and all that. Hit the thumbs up. And once we hit two hundred fifty, I said I would show you a few of the outfits that I have been wearing or I did wear in these videos. And I think um, it, at least I'm just trying to give you something today besides the quiz. You can get a little peek. And then each week, we're going to have the links to the stores, to the houses, and to the rugs. Oh, my gosh. The day we went and looked at rugs, it, we went to Amadi Rugs. It was amazing. It was so, so incredible. I mean, we we, we filmed, like, uh, we must have been there seven hours filming all these different rugs. So when I tell you about your different style, I'm going to show you. Now, these are the types of rugs that would look really good with do you see the number? Do you see what I see? I don't know how live. <gasps> we hit 250. Woohoo! Okay. Okay. So, yeah, but I what I was going to say is I've asked Anastasia to link all of the clothes that I wear. So, if you want to know where something uh, is from that I'm wearing, you'll be able to see. Okay. So, this looks like a very unusual, strange outfit. And trust me, I this is a size two. But you know, the clothes today, they're just huge. They're so big. This is the outfit that I wore for Japandi. And I think it is so cute. I wore it with this. And so this little sweater goes, you know, it, it clasps here in the front. Let's see if I can do this. Is this stupid? You, you're you watching me. I'm an interior designer and I'm showing you my clothes. Do you like it? Okay. But the best part is this little thing goes over the top like this. It, it, get, it goes over, you know, the, the lady parts. Whoops. Like that. And what it does is it creates like this almost, you know, um, oriental or Japanese women. They have kimonos. So it reminds me of a kimono, but it's, it goes across here. Super modern and fun and hip. Well, at least I think it's hip. Let's see. What else? Um, oh, for mid-century modern, I wore this very geometric blouse. The shape is pretty incredible, pretty amazing. And I did a front tuck like this. So it created this really cool geometric look. And, you know, geometrics, black and white and stuff like that is very mid-century um, oh, this, this is so cute. I don't know if you can tell. This is what I wore for transitional and the sleeves on this are so cool like that. Isn't that amazing? That's a sleeve. So when my arm is in here and I, you know, close my arm, isn't that beautiful? I think that is such a cute, a cool sweater. Oh, and this I wore with black leather leggings these are actually leather oh, of course they're vegan leather don't you know but this is the blouse and it's sheer and then it has these marabou feather cuffs how beautiful is that so super oh wait actually with this i didn't wear the leather pants i wore i think i think i wore these really full, like almost like a long dress. That's what it was with like that. Super cute with really pretty earrings, really pretty earrings. And then with, um, let's see, modern Parisian. 
I wore my white linen pants that are, uh, they're, they, don't they look huge? Compared to skinny jeans and stuff, these are a size two. And they fit tight, but then this blouse, so it has this kind of fancy Parisian designer look with the white pants here. Wow. See if I can hand hold this at the same time. I thought it was pretty cute with, there we go. So it had like that fancy, you know, I don't know, I'm entertaining kind of thing. Um, and then you may wonder about this. When did I wear this? What kind of style do you think would be representing this? Mm -hmm. That's going to be the question of the hour. What style does that go with? And, oh, this is so cute. This is um, this top that the back, when it's on, you know, goes tight, you know, like that. So you get just the uh, stripes across the back, and then it has this, and it goes across the, you know, lady parts. It is really cute. And I wore this for the day that I went shopping for rugs. So this will be in a lot of the different videos. Um, oh, and this is probably my favorite. And it's hard to imagine this, but this is from um, Alice and Olive. You guys familiar with that designer, that, that designer brand? It is a jumpsuit, like it zips up the back. But look at the bottom of the pants. It's like got this green um, border and it's the same thing around here. And then I wear a bunch of jewelry and this is what I wore for maximalist because it's very colorful and very fun. And then lastly, oh, there's more here too, but this is the um, very, I, let's see that's hanging weird. The buttons don't hang weird like that. It has gold cuffs and I wore this for dark academia. Are you excited? Do you like the styles that we're covering? So that's what I was going to say is the hardest part about this was deciding which styles to do. Because, you know, I mean, some of these styles have been around a long time. Do I really need to do modern farmhouse? Well, there's a lot of people who love modern farmhouse and they want to see it. So I tried to pick ones, some new ones. Um, there is a new one called, it's not that new. If you're, if you're a total Instagram and, you know, Pinterest junkie, you'll think, honey, that's been around for five years. Um, cottage core. That one's kind of fun. The skirt is glamorous. Thank you. Bohemian. Mm -hmm. Hi from Tennessee. Hello. I can't wait to see all the outfits on you, but you looked amazing. Uh, I bet you look amazing in all of them. Thank you. Is that meow meow? <laughs> Interesting name. Okay. Uh, where do you get your jewelry? Wait, where do you get your jewelry accessories? Wherever I see something I like. I, mean, there, I don't have any one go-to place. I mean, things like this I've been buying for, I have so much costume jewelry I've been buying forever. All right, you guys. Um, where do you keep your rolling clothes racks? Right, that's a good question. I have two decorative clothes racks and they take up so much room. They do. Right now, I've been keeping them in here because I had uh, Matthew here and I was putting them in my guest room. And then I have a wardrobe room over that way outside outside of this room. But yeah, it's a lot. Um, I need to go through and get rid of a bunch of things for one thing. Okay. <clears throat> All right, you guys. Um, that was not the point of this video. The point was to say, I'm really sorry that I didn't follow through with a commitment I made. But at the same time, I, um, I wanted to not let you down and I wanted to be here. And I also want to let you know about the design style quiz. And I hope you'll take the time to do it. It looks like um, I took your quiz and cottage core was my style. Really? Oh, that's awesome. Uh, that's one that I really have to study up on because I am not familiar with cottage core. The name of it doesn't sound like what it looks like from what I've been able to see. Um, have you ever thought about hosting an amateur interior design competition? <gasps> Whoa, what do you guys think of that? That's kind of interesting an amateur interior design competition, but how could we do that? How would that, I mean, the concept sounds good, but the, the, um, <clears throat> how to, how to actually do that? I don't know. Cause a competition I think would be 
you're not all starting. If it's a competition, remember how there was that design show years ago and they would get, they put them in a white box, a white room with nothing in it. Remember that? And, um, and then they could decorate their spaces. I don't know if they all had the same stuff to work with or what, but whoever did the best job won. And that seems like a fair competition. Whereas if it was just, you know, everybody send me your before and after photos. I mean, some people live in such beautiful homes to begin with that um, <clears throat> it might be a lot easier to decorate that place. You know what I mean? It doesn't take a whole lot to do a house that's already beautiful. But if you start with literally nothing and you turn it into absolutely everything, that's a big deal. And so it'd be hard to to judge that and to make it fair, you know. And I know, I guess I just need some, I need a billionaire to back me for all the ideas I have. My biggest idea, you know, my biggest idea is I want to get in a Winnebago and I want to, or something, a motorhome, and I want to travel across the U.S. And I want to uh, somehow, I don't even know in my mind, I don't know how this would actually work legitimately, but I'd love to just land at someone's door, preferably a subscriber, someone who's been following me would, you know, I mean, if I just go up to anybody's door and say, Hey, I'm Rebecca, I, I have a truckload of furniture. Can I bring it in? They're going to go who, <laughs> but if it was one of you guys, you'd probably be excited about that. I have always wanted to do that, but it just takes a lot of money and financial backing. And, you know, you have to not, you have to not have to work for that. So anyway, it's never happened, but I do have a thing for that. I am loving this. <clears throat> Um, two mobile homes being made over. Ha ha. That would be fun. A couple of Airstreams or mobile homes. Oh yeah. HGTV Design Star. David was the first winner. Wow. I am so impressed. I don't know where you get that memory from, but I lost mine a long time ago. A twist on that competition is us take the same room, but design it in different styles. Right? I mean, that would be awesome, but <laughs> how do we do that? You know, where do we find um, 10 completely white box rooms or same architectural rooms? That's the other thing. Someone may have like a corner fireplace, which is so hard, or a vaulted ceiling, which is also hard. And then the next person has a perfectly square uh, room with windows on either. They had, they like, they got lucky and got symmetry, right? You know, it would be a good video to do though, you know, I think it'd be fun to do a video on if you're out looking for a house to buy, what should you look for and what should you avoid? Because I think <clears throat> that everyone who has a house with a corner fireplace in it that has not been able to figure out what to do would say, if I knew now what I, if I knew then what I know now, I would have chosen this house instead of this house. Because when you're walking through and someone else's furniture is in it and everything else, it's it's too confusing if you don't have that vision to, to think, see, now where am I going to put my stuff? And a lot of times you buy houses and you don't even realize what, what it's going to be like when you try to move your stuff in because it's not going to fit or it's going to be awkward. Anyway, um, oh, I've heard of that. Do it virtual. Oh, you are invited to Greece to my new Project Villas for free. I'm coming, Katarina. <laughs> call me um that would be cool you know what okay so i recently found out that you know i'm old so ai a lot of you probably know what ai is artificial intelligence i didn't know that it's being used in the design world so designers who know how to use the program just like i know how to use sketchup right but to go out and learn AI, I almost want to because I think um, I think there's someone on YouTube who's actually doing that where you send him your pictures and then he says, here's what I designed for you. Well, it's, I believe it's AI, meaning there's not much the designer has to do. The computer program actually does it for you. Wow, that would be incredible. So, I mean, if we all knew how to do AI, we could do a competition because it's virtual. It would be really fun. Let's see. Hi, Rebecca. It's Ta Tanya in Tulsa. Hey. Hey, Tanya. How are you? You're my girlfriend from um, Hobby Lobby, right? I think you are. Um, let's see. Dark Horse quiz results. Modern farmhouse, contemporary, and traditional. Awesome. Okay. Uh, use SketchUp to design the same virtual room you could 
uh, do state of the room dimensions, and then we could submit our design ideas. That would work as long as people were willing to and wanted to learn how to do SketchUp, right? That's a commitment. And now I am 100% behind SketchUp. I could not have done my career the way I did all these years if I hadn't had SketchUp. But I, you know, it is a whole nother layer. But for those who do know how to do SketchUp, it might be a fun thing. Okay. Um, how about a design competition of furniture placement through a floor plan in an empty house for everyone? Right. But how do we do that? Like, okay. Competent what? Furniture placement through a floor plan in an empty house for everyone. But how would we get the same floor plan for everyone? Or are you saying that? I don't know. It, the, that's the thing. These things are complicated and they are um, staff heavy. If you're going to try to pull something like this off. Um, let's see. Our living room is on the opposite of the house as our kitchen. Major, what the heck? <laughs> what may my husband plan uh, plans on moving it? He's a carpenter and I cannot wait. Your husband is going to move the kitchen over by the living room, family room. I wish I better understood. Okay. I'm just rambling. I'm sorry, but you know, I get here and it's so fun to talk to you guys. Um, oh, never would have a clue how to handle slanted ceilings. I know, right? Wait a sec. Are you seven design rooms virtual use dimensions so we could submit our design ideas? Gary, I'm late to I'm late to a live. I know. It's okay. It's being recorded. And all of your comments are being recorded too. So uh, and they'll stay on. I clicked the thing that asked them to stay on. Just so you know, we will be here next week. And you know, I feel very confident that it's not. And I don't want anybody to get the wrong idea. And I certainly don't want Dorian to see this and think, is she just like throwing me under the bus? <laughs> I'm not, Dorian. You're probably asleep under the bus right now. You're so tired. You should be asleep. You just got, I just, I just got you a pass. No, this is not about Dorian. And it's about, well, it's about me that I, my vision for this series was so grandiose and I wanted to do so much and involve so many people so that I could be so comprehensive for you and create something that you were going to just love. Because you know what? Design styles, uh, design style videos have been out for years. So I didn't want to just, you know, copy paste what someone else did. That's not me. That's not why you watch me. And I hope you know that. So I wanted to, this to be really good. But in doing that, it is just, and it is a heavy weight to lift. It, it's it's asking a lot of everybody. Sorry, everyone on my team. All right. Let's see. Glad to have found you and listen up. You're adorable. Oh, thank you. That's so sweet. Beloved. <laughs> okay. The original builder put the kitchen on, on one end and then living room on the other end. Usually they are next to each other in floor plans. Well, it depends on what year you bought your house, but yeah. You know what, guys, when when you see my mid-century modern design style video, I think you're going to love it because we actually toured an original, an original mid-century modern home that was built in the 50s. And the problem with that, you know, at the time and in the 50s and 60s, you know, look, you get it in the 50s and it's the coolest thing out at that time. And then the 60s come in the 70s and like everyone is. Um, I don't know, putting in avocado green carpet or weird stuff. And so, so many of those original uh, mid-century modern homes that were built, they have the flat roofs, you know, and the high windows and big windows. They have been renovated, torn down, completely changed. A lot of them have been changed over the years because they were out of style at some point in people's minds. They wanted whatever's new at the time. So there are very few actual original mid-century modern homes around, unless it's a Frank Lloyd Wright home, you know, like some famous architect. But even those, they weren't built in the 50s, or were they? Maybe he was. Oh, maybe he probably was. Yeah, because he was one of the originators. But all that to say, we get to go to a house where it's got all the original floors, the walls, the windows, and original furniture. So it's pretty exciting and, and very special, special opportunity to get to do that.
And so, I mean, all of the design style videos are great, but that's one that really stands out in my mind. Okay, are, are you excited? Are you excited? Are you ready to watch and come back next week? I didn't hurt your feelings. I didn't make you mad. You're going to come back? I hope so because I love you guys and I, I'm here for you. Okay. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Fun chatting. Um, I was up at four this morning, so I think I'm just going to go pour myself a drink. And <laughs> is it five o'clock somewhere? Nope. Hey, any of you guys live somewhere where it's five o'clock? Uh, be back. CS, yeah, so excited. From Austin. What does you say about your design style is? Uh, hi, Rebecca. Are you doing, going to discuss home, my home tomorrow in the design challenges? Is this hope? Uh, I do I do go over hope, but that says H-O-P-I, and mine is H-O-P-E. I don't know, hope. Hope, hope, don't go anywhere. Let me see if I can find your submission. Let's see, here, hope, 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 hope. Is this your house? Hope, I need to hear from you. Is, yay, yes. I go over your design and your challenge tomorrow at 12 o'clock noon. So be sure to be watching the Design Sessions member design challenge episode on the Design Sessions platform. All right, you guys. Uh, I, I got everybody. Hope, yes, it's me. It's so great. I'll gladly wait for your video. Thank you. Yes, come redo my basement. You can, you can knock on my door. Okay. <laughs> I will do that. By the way, that mirror on your staircase at Christmas was absolutely friggin' awesome. My favorite thing ever. Mine too. Love it. All right, you guys. And it's a good thing I'm thinner now because I don't mind looking at myself going down the stairs. Good timing, right? All right, you guys. I love you, and I'll talk to you guys next time. I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, head out of here. And thank you so much for all the thumbs up, and for those of you who are able to join us today. All right, I'll see ya.